This bread is amazing. It's so soft, it's so fluffy, and it feels like you're eating clouds. And the best part is, you don't even need an oven. It's Baslama, a Turkish bread that I will show you how to make today. First, you're going to need two thirds of a cup of warm water. The water should be at 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 40 degrees Celsius, and two thirds of a cup of warm milk, which should be at the same temperature as well. Add in one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and one tablespoon of yeast. Give it a mix and wait for the yeast to proof. You'll be able to tell that your yeast has proved once bubbles start to form or once you can smell that really strong yeasty smell. Then you're going to add in three cups of all-purpose flour. Add those in and give it a mix. You're going to keep mixing until everything is very well combined and you will have a sort of a very sticky dough. This dough is going to be extremely sticky and that's okay. That's what's going to make your bread really nice and fluffy. At this point, I moved to using my hands and I kneaded the dough for a bit, but as you can see, the dough is really sticky and it was sticking to my hands, but that's okay. We're going to do a few things to stop the dough from sticking to your fingers. So you're going to add in two more tablespoons of flour and then knead that in. And as soon as your dough gets sticky again and too difficult to handle, you're going to add in three tablespoons of olive oil. And you're just going to keep kneading until the olive oil has seeped in completely into the dough and everything is well incorporated and the dough has turned into sticky dough once again. Then you're going to cover it with some plastic wrap and leave it in a nice warm spot for about an hour or until it has doubled in size. After an hour, I uncovered the dough and I touched it and as you can see, it was still really, really sticky. So I tried to use a dough scraper to help me get it out of the bowl and onto my work surface, which I had floured a little bit with some flour so that it doesn't stick there as well. I took it out and I tried to form a round shape with the dough as best as I could and uh, I tried to flatten it a little bit and turn it into a disc shape. Then I used the same dough scraper to cut the dough into six equal pieces and then I formed them into round balls. With a rolling pin that I had dusted with some flour, I flattened out the round balls that I had made and tried to make them as round as I possibly could. The diameter that I was going for was 17 centimeters, which is about eight inches. So you want to try and go for that size as well. When you're rolling them out, make sure that you do so very gently. As you can see me doing here, I'm also doing it really slowly. The dough itself is really fluffy, so there's no need to do it very vigorously or anything like that. Just take your time. And if it sticks to the rolling pin, make sure you dust it with a little bit more flour. When I was done, I covered them with a kitchen towel and I let them rest for another 40 minutes. You want to make sure that the surface that you leave them on to rest is covered with flour, otherwise they're going to stick there and then they're going to be very difficult to remove. Then you're going to preheat your pan on medium heat until it's very nice and hot. It has to be really, really hot before you start baking your bread. You're going to put the bread in one at a time and bake on each side for about seven or eight minutes. So after the first seven minutes had passed, I flipped the bread to the other side and I let it cook again for another seven minutes. Then I flipped it back to the first side and I flipped it back again just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And that's it, your no oven bread is ready to enjoy. You can serve it warm or you can keep it to cool down and then eat it later. You can serve it with whatever you want. You can make little sandwich pockets out of it, just slice it in half and you'll have a little pocket where you can put whatever you want in it. It's so delicious, it's so fluffy, it's very easy to make. And the best part is you don't need an oven. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you give this recipe a try soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious recipes. Bye bye.